We had to move everything and then move it all up front again. And Peter Parsons knows the drill. You know, I've been here since 1986, so basically 30 years. And uh, this is the second time it's come up like this. Parsons lives in a beautiful log home, one that's prepared for flooding. Take a look inside. What about three inches? You're just, just under three inches here. Unfinished, appliances jacked up. It's a flood-proof basement. Your peace of mind, you know, like they probably didn't know that they were going to have this kind of trouble. You know, I built here knowing that this was and will happen. So, you know, am I crazy? Maybe a little, but, uh, you know, it is a beautiful area. Right up another inch and it would have come in through my patio door there. In Glenwood, decades of experience paid off for the Saunders family. We kind of picked up our stuff and stole it away so it, we'd still have it when it was all over pretty much. And uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty lucky. We didn't, like I said, we didn't have any damage, so. It got close, inches in fact, but the floor is dry. So now they sit back and watch the water slowly disappear. Uh, I'd say it's good for a week, probably a week and a half before it gets back to half normal anyhow, you know, just, yeah. It, it, it takes twice as long for it to, to run back as it do run, you know, come up, so. The water did hit some houses here. Driveways, now bird baths, and pumps humming nonstop. These homeowners will now turn to insurance plans and the province for help.